take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. If you are wearing glasses, take them off now. Put your feet on the ground to ground yourself. Let your palms rest on your lap. Watch your breathing. When you inhale, close your eyes. When you exhale, open them slightly. Let's do this again a few times while I'm counting. So take a deep breath while counting to four. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold it in. Then let it out. One. Two. Three. Four. Wait. Inhale again. One. Two. Three. Four. Hold it in. Then release it. One. Two. Three, four, wait, take a deep breath again, one, two, three, four, hold it in. Then let it out. One, two, three, four, five. Wait. Breathe the air in again. One, two, Three, four, hold it in, then exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Wait. Close your eyes. Breathe instinctively. Let your breathing be natural. Your body has calmed down and every process is flowing perfectly in it by themselves without your intervention. Your mind begins to relax. Meditation can reveal to you 
who you are this very moment and also who you could be not who you think you are but who you truly are on the inside Gnostic guided meditation is about contemplation in the sanctuary of the heart in which you can observe the many layers of yourself and with persistent efforts you can discover the eternal being hidden behind your many self-images the child of God your true self To do so, watch your breathing. Retreat to the innermost sanctuary of your heart. Imagine that every time you exhale, your physical being begins to shrink until it becomes so tiny that it can enter the sanctuary of your heart. Enter the temple of your heart, which is the house of your soul and the home of yourself. Light a candle, take a seat and contemplate. Suck in all the light that this candle emits from itself. Be aware that invisible divine forces have provided the living space for your divine self or soul, seeking to manifest, striving for development. Gnosis means inner knowledge, more specifically, the redemptive knowledge. Redeeming knowledge is nothing but the path of becoming, transforming and changing back to God. Gnostic meditation is like that. Examine the flame of your heart. What does it express? Who lit it? What justified this candle to be lit? Look deep into your heart for answers.
life is an illusion. Death is a delusion. Everything is eternal. Just disappears like the candlelight when it gets blown out. But it can spark back to flames anytime, anywhere, if you want it to. There is always a candle burning somewhere, either in the memory of a deceased, or for peace, or surely for its beauty. The love of the Savior is the flame itself, and us remembering God is the eternal desire that lights the candle. The body is a temple, your heart is an altar. The Son of God will come if you call him. Countless selves of yours are sitting in rows, who have been born and have died in countless lives, so this moment can come. Every human being has divine selves and parts of selves from their past lives. These live deep within us in the form of memories, instincts, affinities, karma and subconscious desires. Sometimes they inspire, motivate us. Sometimes they hinder and block us. Having these as a base in this life, we build up a layered, colorful and diverse personality on it ourselves, with an assumed consciousness of our own at the center of it. It is like the cosmos. Those who see it from the outside have a different image of it, a different understanding of it, than those who dig deeper and deeper into its secrets, approaching its center. Although, in a sense, we strive for unity and to form unity. We still have a thousand faces. Our superficial selves often do not know the divine source. This is due to our diversity and complexity. It is possible that one layer of ourselves imagines itself to be a successful and a respected person, while another level is still immature in certain things. The next layer of ourselves experiences considering itself a child of others. Other parts of our personalities may be someone's parent, grandparent, friend, relative, colleague, and who knows who else. We have many feminine and masculine traits. They can be stronger or weaker, depending on what our original life plan is and our attitudes have been towards it so far. Our entire inner world is connected to our complex past and future. 
In one minute, we identify ourselves with one part of us. The next, we feel completely different. At the same time, all layers belong organically to us. The depth of ourself is sometimes separated or connected, but forms an integrated unity. Thus, we are present in the material world in many ways. You are still sitting in front of the burning divine flame in your inner sanctuary and absorbing its light. Allow it to shine a light on the true self that emerges behind your self-images. Inner knowledge, the Gnosis, shows the way. See clearly that a part of yourself extends into the intangible, the unknown, the immaterial, the spiritual. A part of your personality transcends the limits and dimensions of this material world. There are basically two kinds of nature colliding in you, a divine and a material attitude. Your divine self is indestructible and limitless. It is one of the consciousness of universality. Your divine nature is not born and is not a subject to death. It exists independently from time and space, gathering experience. Your temporary bodily being has a transient self that makes you feel like a mortal person. This self is, by its very origin, a subject to the laws of space and time. One of the meanings of life is to reach your metaphysical center from your physical self-images. This is Gnosis, that is, the path of inner knowledge. You can achieve this by revealing the divine qualities within yourself. These are the characteristics of your divine self. Then, you raise these in yourself like a child. In addition to your divine virtues, you also have human roles on the stage of your life that endow you with many transitional traits. Gently and calmly distinguish your divine self from your human characteristics. Decide consciously which one you want to identify yourself with. Remember that 
The decision is in your hands. Will you follow the voice of your soul or your ego? When you pay attention to one of them, it gets stronger, while the other one gets weaker. This internal transformation can be carried out only gradually and carefully. We choose the masks of our personality so we can get rid of our unwanted, outdated self-images anytime. Do not be afraid to change and transform your personality when you feel the need. Because what you're losing is not divine. It is just a volatile state, a fleeting memory, a role we play, an attractive self-projection or a blurred shadow that can be eliminated and transformed any time with the right inner knowledge. Turn to your true self. Your divine self is eternal and unchanging consciousness. As such, it is complete, perfect, and immortal in itself. Your true identity is indestructible and cannot be lost. When you are able to look behind the masks of your ego, you can see the deeper layers of your divine self. You will know that it is not another mask you are about to put on, but it is your spirit, because your self will shine peacefully, quietly, will be beaming light out of itself, just as the stars do in the sky. It is not shaken by anything, but your consciousness can be shaken out of this state. So you have to practice keeping in touch with your soul. You can do this by quieting your mind down regularly, every day, and immersing yourself in a state of inner peace. It is like walking into a river or into a lake. Just as the water embraces your body, the divine existence wraps its arms around your consciousness during this meditation. Existence guides you and takes care of you. Please repeat the following to yourself. Please, God, guide me back to myself. recognize my eternal self. I know I am a child of the light. I am a glowing spark too.
I am one of the manifestations of the Absolute. I am an emanation and descendant of the Supreme Being. I am the immortal image of eternity. I am one of God's emanated selves. I carry the infinite inside me. and I represent it here on Earth. My origins and destination are divine. And it is up to me how I walk my path. The richness of infinity is in me. I carry it within me. I connect the heaven and the earth with my being. The divine abundance of the universe flows into the world through me. I am here in this world. To realize the plans of my original self. through my self-awareness behind the many faces of mine. To do so, I will enforce divine principles and values. step by step in every moment of my life. I accept the decisions of my higher self in everything. I will try to succeed and represent its will with dignity on all levels. To do so, I will constantly improve and ennoble my consciousness. This is how I become a full individual again. In unity with the true, pure and unchanging Self. In this spirit, Begin to return from the depths. In the sanctuary of your heart, the eternal flame of your soul is the divine glow. 
it is constantly present. If you have a hard time navigating in your inner or the outside world, just turn to your inner light. Look for Gnosis. Recognize and get to know yourself so you can identify yourself with it. Nurture the relationship with it and then the rays of divine knowledge, understanding and love will enter your being. May the light guide you. Take a few deep breaths, some long ones. Gradually, you can open your eyes. Gnostic meditation for self-identity is over. I wish you a peaceful and blissful day.